us what is pulmonary rehabilitation for COPD patients? Pulmonary rehabilitation is an integrated uh, multi-team effort to try to enhance the patient exercise capacity. So first I, I should say as a caveat, clinical studies have demonstrated that pulmonary rehabilitation significantly improves patients' exercise capacity, can improve lung function, can decrease exacerbations, and decrease hospitalization. So it can significantly impact the patient in all aspects of their life. It is not the same as you say, well, why they don't go to a cardiac rehab or why they don't go to a regular rehab program? Because in the pulmonary rehabilitation programs, the work has been developed and structured over the last 20 years, is try to integrate all the different aspects that impacts patients' life. So they have, a, uh, they do exercise, they do exercise in a structured way to increase their endurance. At the same time, they get teach how to use the respiratory medications. They learn how to manage dyspnea, how to manage when they have a flare up, not to panic, how to guarantee that they're getting enough oxygen. They get nutritional advice, they get psychological support. And I think the more important in the pulmonary rehab, you have a group of people with the same disease and they can talk and they can learn have to manage their condition. I can tell you an example. The other day, one of my patients came that went to the rehab, and she said to me, what is different on me? I knew I was in trouble. I can never know if my wife made her hair. I have no idea. I, I, can, I can figure out what was wrong with her or good with her. Well, in the pulmonary rehab, somebody has looked at, in the internet, these glasses that they get the oxygen through the glasses and comes right there. So for me, I'm used to see her with the oxygen cannula in their face. It doesn't bother me. For her, it was very bothersome. And now they have these glasses that she can wear, they, and the cannula comes directly, it's not in her face, and she makes her very proud of that. So it's those little things in life that can make a huge difference, and I think that's where the pulmonary rehab can help them to deal with this condition. The other important lesson that we have learned is certainly the six, eight weeks of the program that gets paid by most of the insurance companies and Medicare, these uh, programs enhances of that. But if the patient doesn't continue to do it, they will lose it. Within six months, they're gonna be back to square one. So they teach them the ability to continue doing this, this exercise and these activities on a regular basis. Some of those programs will allow them for a nominal fee to continue assisting not as often, once a week, twice a month, to continue some, and they can continue monitoring if they can uh, see their effect. And the last point I want to emphasize is the pulmonary rehab complements all the other aspects that we have talked today. It complements the benefits from smoking cessation, it complements the benefits from pharmacotherapy, it is another leg that will support the overall well-being of the patient. Isolated without the other factors, the benefits are going to be more limited. If uh, it's available in the area, who would you recommend sending to pulmonary rehab? Ideally, once you make a diagnosis of COPD, regardless of the severity of lung function, they should go. And I can tell you why. There is a really nice study done in the Netherlands that they demonstrate that patients with mild COPD they have as much exercise impairment or limitation as a patient with very severe COPD. The severity of lung function doesn't go and correlate with the severity of the exercise impairment. Patients with COPD with milder disease, they do have very significant impairment. So once you diagnose the disease, part of your treatment has to be an exercise program, ideally going to a place that is structured, can be assessed, the benefits can be, have some endpoints that can be evaluated that you can use as a reference for the future.